now we have all heard about the turbofan jet engine, the turboprop jet engine and even the turbo ram jet engine. But have you ever heard about the turbo rocket jet engine? Well today I Arush Tata of Sudhir Memorial Institute is going to explain my design that is the turbo rocket jet engine. This engine has basically two parts that is the jet engine core where we have got a compressor stage then the air travels from the compressor stage to the combustion chamber the cylinders in black color since I have represented them as combustion chamber and then the air flows from them and rotates this turbine. Hence, a complete self-sustaining process is formed. This can be, if this turns, the, the, the compressor can compresses air and send it in the combustion chamber where it gets heated and the expanded air, air travels at extreme, extremely high space, then rotates this turbine and then the entire thing rotates and this is a self-sustaining process. Then, after the jet engine core, we have this main housing of the engine. And the space between the jet engine core and the main housing, I we will fit here the hybrid rocket engines solid fuel will be fitted in this gap between the jet engine core and the uh, main housing of the engine. I will come to the further explanation part later. Now let me explain to you how this engine will bring a revolution in three types of aircraft. The first is fighter jets, the second is spy planes and the third is the space planes. In fighter, the, this engine will give the fighter planes a huge advantage in the battlefield as the fighter planes will be able to use the jet engine core to fly in standard space. This is the jet engine core and they can use this to fly standard space normal space and if they need uh, an extreme speed or a uh, speed boost during the time of emergency they can use use the hybrid J, J, uh, so engine that is this outside part this gap this will be filled with the hybrid jet engine fuel they can use this part the high rocket engine to propel them faster in spy planes, they, um, this, they can also use this for standard flight, the jet core engine core, and they can, use, they can use the hybrid rocket engine while fleeing from missiles from the enemy territories. Space planes can also use this, uh, the jet engine core, to uh, achieve, uh, achieve a certain altitude, and then they can use the hybrid rocket engine to go to the Kármán line and above. After listening to all this, you might be asking that if the engine will reach such high uh, speeds, then the vital parts of the jet engines, for example, the compressor stage impeller or the turbines uh, the, behind the jet engine, these parts might get damaged. And hence, they will have to be made with expensive components like titanium. But the cheap solution I found is that we can just play space, uh, play, space, place a lash down here which will cover the jet engine at the time when the engine will attain high speeds. In this model, I am controlling the jet, this lash system using a potentiometer. This is a potentiometer. It's basically a regulator that can be controlled uh, with the Arduino. This gives analog output, analog output, and this is read by the Arduino, and then it gives function to the submotor. This is done by the port I wrote down here. This is the main submotor port. When I rotate the potentiometer, it goes to zero degree, means the latch is open, and then when I again turn it, then it goes to 90 degree, means the hatch is closed. And now the, the parts of the jet engine can't get damaged. And the plane will be completely propelled by the hybrid rocket engine. I hope you liked my project. Thank you. Have a nice day.